is on stream. I'm going to go live in three, two, one. Hello and welcome to Mysteries of Athos, episode one. This is the first normal episode of our Dark Sun game that we're playing using Advanced Dungeons and Dragons second edition. Uh, we did play a an episode zero or session zero for some of the players who wanted to just go through rules and make characters and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is our first full episode and uh, we'll get to player introductions in a minute. We One of our players um, has uh, uh, had to be away for tonight and another is technically he's on stream, but he's surprisingly absent from his camera. Uh, he will appear at some point in the indefinite future. Uh, but Mysteries of Athos is a game where a band of, uh, call them adventurers, call them scavengers, call them uh, potential thieves, rebels, feds, whichever you like, uh, wander the desert. <laughs> uh, they, they've got themselves a, an offer from a merchant house, a rather down on its luck merchant house, out for one last hope of breaking even, uh, to use that merchant house's not knowledge of ancient ruins and other things that are out there in the desert to uh, basically it's it's indiana jones but even more profitable it's it's tomb raider it's break into ancient ruins nick stuff sell it um it's no, no one seems to have any uh, compunctions about this so our party is is on the way to um uh the very distant and out of the way House Cicera headquarters for Cicera in the south of Athos, this great desert world um, under a scorching sun. Um, Rumour has it that once upon a time it was a, a fertile world, but now uh, only banks and, and strips of fertility remain, uh, much of the rest blasted away by the misuse of magic and um, by, uh, well, uh, ancient wars that no one quite remembers. Let's do let, let's talk about our party first, because, yeah, you can see um, on the map, you've got a party icon traveling around that little cape towards somewhere called Fort Cicera, right on the edge of nowhere. Uh, you know, the old joke, you know, uh, rather than the person being from the middle of nowhere, they're from the, the corner of nowhere. Uh, you're really going to the corner of nowhere here along the road from Barlick. And uh, you've got a you've got a caravan, a small caravan heading there. Um, and you've got a number of uh, intrepid adventurers. So should we go through who people are playing? And then I guess also some of how people know each other, what relationships there are, uh, what's been going on, what's led people to come out here. Should we start with uh, Alex and your character, Gudea? Yes, so I am playing Gudea. He's a, a half-elf, a druid psionicist, uh, level two in each. Um, obviously, being a half-elf on Athos, he's a... He's a bit of an outsider. Um, it's kind of, kind of this, um, this, this not being close to people has kind of helped, kind of helped him find this, this connection with, with, with nature and the elemental forces that uh, that try and uphold it. Um, he has his, um, his bonded land, his guarded lands are fairly nearby. A place called Screaming Hills. Uh, kind of a, a small set of hills where the caves are shaped just right so that the wind howls through them leaving a, a screaming sound audible for for miles around um the beauty he, of nature yeah yeah truly a remarkable thing um he joined the he's joined this expedition because his um <laughs> his father his human father was um was a um, not not quite a member of house cicero but definitely um worked with them before and it Adventurer who worked yeah. in House Cicera um, a little bit for, for a while and seeing seeing the house decline until this this big final expedition or hopefully not final expedition <clears throat> uh, probably doesn't know anyone else in the party maybe any other um, maybe he's encountered other outlander types before but he's not he's not the type to make friends he's kind of prepared for for, yeah. for scorn and mockery keeps keeps to himself and his animals. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Tom. Uh, one thing is that I should say is that most players have created a character tree, which is an option. Second edition Dark Sun, where you can have well, they recommend four. Some people have two in this group. Basically, you level up one character along with your main character, and it gives you an alternative character for different missions or if your other character dies. 
Uh, but yes, uh, we're only worrying about the, the main character for tonight. Tom, who is your your main character tonight, uh, who you're playing tonight? So my main character is uh, Sadira. She is a, a half-elf trader slash mage. Um, and uh, again, as Alex said about half-elves, tend to be a little isolated, slightly outcast, but um, has certainly... To some extent, not fitting in anywhere means that you can deal on equal terms with a lot of people, and Sadira has used that to her advantage in becoming a trader, uh, and has heard about the fall of uh, House Cicero, and is eager to try and get in on the ground floor on what might be a resurgence, because that is a, a good way to potentially get rich quick, um, which is something that she is very excited about. Mm -hmm. Um Again, doesn't know any of the party in any great detail, but it's certainly <laughs> and, and... glad to have some of the more sturdy members of the party along to uh, help guard the caravan. To be human shields slash half giant shields, will exactly. I guess? <laughs> uh, and you also your your character is also the I guess the caravan master, the wagon master in this yeah. mini caravan or yeah, whatever that I... you're you're leading along to Fort Cicero. Yeah, Sadira has a caravan with a. Uh, a kank pulling it it's just a single wagon at the moment it's not a particularly impressive caravan the, what's a what's a kank tell us what a kank, a kank is. is a what's a kank is a giant insect beast of burden it's about it's sort of about the size of a horse i gather um big leggy insect uh beast which can be ridden or in this case it's being used as a pack animal to pull this mm. cart yeah yeah, I, th I think the Mysteries of Athos uh, little thumbnail has a kank on it, doesn't it? So it's one of those. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you, yeah, they're, they're like the super violent. They're just quite patient at carrying stuff. Yeah. They're, they're uh, there is like a particular thing, which is that they're not actually very good meat because as soon as you kill them, their meat just starts rotting. Mm -hmm. Is it? Or something, something it, horrendous like that. Is it kanks that produce the honey, or is that? I think so. Well, like. Nectar or sap or something, it said. Yeah, like a kind of hu yeah, honey yeah, built, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah built up nectar. like on, yeah. on like glands or something on them, and that can be. It's not very filling, but it can, can be eaten. Yeah, <laughs> glands. It, it might keep you alive <laughs> for for another day. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Okay, uh, Andrew, who are you? Who are uh, you? Tonight, Andrew, you'll play. Uh, tonight, I am. Sorry, my camera's gone a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know why, but it seems to have switched back to the one that I don't want it to be. Whatever. Let's just live with it for now. Uh, tonight, I am playing a female human named Maeve. She's sort of a fairly well-to-do looking sort of middle-class noblewoman type who essentially just sort of turned up with two chests full of assorted trade goods and announced that she was joining this caravan. Well, investing in this caravan, as she put it. And yeah. if if pressed, she's sort of explained that yeah. you know her family is just looking to expand their in, their portfolio, as it were, and make a little money on sort of ventures like this. Yeah. And as a middle child, she's sort of the one responsible for yeah, doing you're most from of the a... work. <laughs> yeah, you're from a noble family from the city of Nibbane, aren't you? Uh, um, yeah. You could, your your accent would give you away, I imagine. Uh, Nibbane being one of the the great city states of, of the Tier region, um, actually one near the the great uh, fertile crescent, uh, the the ivory triangle, um, ruled by the shadow king Nibbane, uh, who of course uh, no citizen of Nibbane would ever say anything against. Oh God. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, and Phil, who are you playing tonight? Um, tonight I am playing Varus Breeze Chaser. He is an elf Templar Thrykeen Slayer. Uh, he's a Templar of Nibane, the Shadow King. And mm -hmm. after his tribe was almost obliterated um, from the face mm -hmm. of Athens, from around 2000 down to just over 400, um, he took up the art of Thrike Cream Sling, as that is who um, effectively got rid of the tribe. Say that seven times quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's Thrike Cream Sling. It's not the 
easiest thing. Um, he wound up. He, um, but he doesn't need to tell anyone. He, he doesn't go around saying it, does he? He just goes around killing Thrycreen. Yes. So it's um, Thrycreen he, are like praying mantis people, aren't they? They're, they're kind of insect people. Yeah. Uh, he wears an armor made of the carcasses of Thrycreen and has two. Um... No, he actually doesn't. That's someone else. Apologies. Um, and he is, as I said, a Templar of. He, he, yeah, he wears the Kite armor, doesn't he? Yeah. Yes. So te Templars are like special priests, aren't they? Um, they're not kind of normal elemental priests who you meet out in the wilderness who kind of uh, gain power from the elements. And they're not druids like Alex's character. They're, uh, um, yeah, they gain power from the sorcerer king they serve, don't they? Yes, uh, direct. We get direct power through prayer to um, the Sorcerer King. Mm. Each each of us. Mm. But fairly large extent, yeah. I think they're also like the uh, local yeah, yeah. And I think law in the you're... city. Yes, yes they are. They're, they're, well, and everything they could be running like public. They could be public works, sewage, things like that. Any like major government department is run by Templars. So everyone's just trying to avoid um, Phil's character. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Phil, Phil, how has Varys ended up attaching himself to this caravan heading literally to the corner of the known world? <laughs> um, after being out and completing some business for the, the Shadow King, he had heard rumour that there may or may not be some Thrycreen in the area and set off to see if there was anything down this way. He's recently kind of finished any any training with um mm -hmm. to be a templar so he's kind of out to make a name for himself um in this area and he has just happened upon this yeah. um yeah. caravan he's like a he's like a roving roving hitman for nibna isn't he like i mean basically he's just a roving problem solver like he's not a local cop he's not a bureaucrat he's a go around find things that the shadow king doesn't like and get rid of um and get rid of them. And yep. I've came across this, <laughs> He's a simple uh, man. Simple <laughs> and he came across the caravan mm. and thought, okay, let's stick with these guys and see where they see where they end up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how does everyone else feel about the Templar who's joined them? My character, for reasons which she won't divulge, is feeling a tad nervous. Yeah, uh, pro pro probably <laughs> the same. I don't think I don't think dru druids are. are... I, I, I don't know how much is known about the sorcerer kings and and like what they get up to beyond being like dictators. Um, like like I, I assume it's known that they are you know they have immense power and. I think they make it known. Yes, <laughs> they are. They are unto gods. They are. They are. They're unto gods, and they're not kind gods. So you know. Yes, they are. I'm, they're I'm, very I'm, kind gods. Wouldn't say a word us. against them. <laughs> I, I, I'm just a simple man. I wouldn't know anything about that. He says in his, you know, outlander drawl. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Gade is probably, you know, probably a little hesitant, but is just, you know, a simple man. You, you know, don't, 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 don't mess with my mountain. We'll be fine. <laughs> As a Nibbanese yeah. person herself, may have been. You know, very polite and as welcoming as possible to Varys, but is ultimately still trying to avoid him where possible in case, you know, difficulty should occur for her or our family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, so, yeah, we're, we're traveling across. Um, we've got a nice big map here. Yeah, go for it. Uh, go I was just going to say, while I remember, um, Maeve has turned up on her own riding kank, which she has called Vesper. And she has also wondered loudly why no one else seems to be riding anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to walk everywhere. Yes. It's the <laughs> yeah. best way to travel. Peons, right. I've been uh, waiting for an animal that uh, matches me. Ah, one of them. 
<laughs> if I if I I, I suspect I'll find uh, an appropriate egg soon enough. E easy enough to to train them from birth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and our, our our fifth player who's with the party uh, who Brian is playing is uh, Stiv, who is a a half giant fighter. Uh, this 12-foot tall guy who's just uh, walking around, not talking to the rest of you at the moment. So, you know, he's everyone says he's really chatty, but he's really quiet right now. <laughs> As he, um, yeah, kind of is providing the muscle for the party. And you're, you're heading to, yeah, to Fort Cicera to, um, the, uh, to meet with um, Andres Cicera, who... Uh, yeah, uh, House Sister is a minor house uh, founded by adventurers, uh, including, um, uh, well, connected to Alex's character's father, Gadea's father. But they, um, yeah, uh, they had a run of bad luck, basically. There's, there's some rumours of internal dissension. And though um, they somewhat recovered from the really bad days, they're still basically at the end of their cash reserves. And uh, Andres has um, got in touch with a few contacts, like reached out to... Um, to Tom's character, you know, reached out to Gadea uh, and uh, gathered together. And obviously somehow Maeve's heard of this as well and uh, gathered together some adventurers who can come up with Because he's got a map. He's got a map and he's got some ideas. So he uh, is waiting for you. You travel there. Um, you've got, yeah, you can see you're not very far away on this map um you've got actually that's two squares travel technically isn't it because uh, you've got to drop down a square and then across a square uh, but yeah um i guess we should uh get what, going what uh, shall we get an who wants to who wants to um do Sorry, i have what's what scale I don't think map? If the map itself has a scale of uh let me tell i don't think annoying i don't think that particular version of the map which is a great map i found on on reddit uh praise to the person who made it but i don't think that particular version of the map has like a, a running scale on it but um so i guess you want to like compare just... like distances of cities or something and i'm just double check yeah, yeah i'm just checking the um uh the official dark zone one which <laughs> there is like a hex map but which is still yeah. like fully key fully key it's black and white and fully keyed i think they are I don't know, probably 10 mile hexes aren't they uh, you are near, yeah, that set of ruins, you're one away from that. You're like, mm, you're about 40 miles, 50 miles away um, from, you're probably a couple of days uh, steady travel, not not hurrying, because obviously, you're, yeah, you, you're taking a single wagon and then going at foot, so you're probably a couple of days away, um, so called, roughly each of these squares is 20 miles. Okay. So that's, um, that's one, one, one mile a day, roughly. Uh, one square a day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something oh, like sorry, that. Sorry, sorry, You'd no. expect <laughs> them to, at least, at, at, at least, it, I mean, you say that, of course, it depends on the, the terrain, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Because different terrain, uh, costs different. At the moment, you're on, um, I think, for fairly open, sandy uh, stuff, um, which... Yeah, uh, sandy wastes and stony barrens kind of territory. And, um, yeah, which aren't necessarily at too slow as long as you know how you're travelling amongst them. Uh, but, yeah, you are travelling along. Who wants to uh, curse the party with a first encounter check? Oh, go on, As then. you travel along. <laughs> on, a, on a D6. <laughs> D6. Yeah, on a D6. <laughs> oh, it's a four. <laughs> Hope lives. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what kind of things are conversation? At the, I'm counting this for the square you're in. Essentially, it's your travel into this square. What What's the kind of conversation today? What are people thinking as they kind of come fairly close to their objective? You're like two days away. I I imagine we start with. If I guess, the... travelled along from Balik. Say, say say again. Sorry, the last bit. I was saying, I imagine you travel along from Barlick. Barlick is, you, yeah. people say things about the Sorcerer Kings, but Andropinus is, he's a de democratically elected dictator, dictator for life. He has lived for hundreds of years. And you can elect your Templars. 
Um, and sometimes the elections even stick. Oh, yeah, I've uh, I've been to Balik occasionally. I, uh, yeah. you know, it's, I, I I don't like being in cities, but as far as it goes, are the other cities as much like it? Yeah. So it's probably looking to the two city city slickers. There are good ones and bad ones. Yeah, the mm. two the. <laughs> Balik's nice, I um, suppose. Yeah, don't, don't ask. Bar bar yeah. You like Nibno. What's your opinion Golg? What, what, do, what do Maven Varys think of your neighbour in Golg? Awful. Sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just not <laughs> great. Full of, like... People Ruled who live by in, the Obalalali Pui. Like the trees or something. Had a few dust ups <laughs> and died with them. But... I like how this. Got... Yeah. I like how that's literally what Nibbanese people think of people from Dole because they're like, don't they live in trees or something? <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they have an immense forbidden city in the centre of their city? No. Well. Uh... <laughs> they yeah, you can see them. looking over the region, you're. Yeah, not as good. Yeah, you can, you can see if you actually look over the whole region. I think Tom had it a decent scene before. Like, Barlick is down by the Forked Tongue estuary. Everything else is north. Um, all the other major cities, Nene and Golg, Tyr, uh, ruled by um, Kalak, uh, who's recently got into Ziggurat building. Uruk, by Hermanu, the line of the, ruled by Hermanu, the line of the world. Ram, by the Grand Vizier, Abelek, Ray, and uh, Draj. Uh, Tektuktikle, who um, pe uh, just loves a good sacrifice. Um, probably all the things that people say about Sorcerer Kings feel truest about him, because <laughs> he's like, oh, there's a massive human sacrifice cult. Okay. Um, he's very open about it. Whereas, <laughs> yeah. Um, but one, one thing is that, like, merchant houses are kind of a separate entity. They're a different order in society. Um, they, because they are, like, international, intra-city, um, they have protections and they have a sort of code of neutrality, which means they're somewhat protected. They're not, uh, you can't be a, a citizen of a city, for instance, and be a registered trader. So uh, Sidira will not be a, uh, a citizen of any city. She will have been to many cities, but she won't be a citizen of any. Yeah. Um, as an example. Um, but yeah, so the, the, uh, the merchants, and um, this includes how Sisera run parallel to everything else. Okay, so you're camping for the night, like in um, in that square. Um, what sort of things, I mean, we're, this is one thing, is like you need to now calculate, <laughs> there's bookkeeping in Dark Sun, and you might be like, man, bookkeeping is bad, but then you're like, yeah, but we could just all die. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna check, check what our water is. Um, how much water are you carrying? How much do you need per day for the, there are five of you, um, yeah. plus the animals? Should I, um, when, when during a day, should I roll a heat protection? <clears throat> Check. Would that be at like start of the day or probably like at the heat... start of the day? So yeah, does everyone want to roll heat protection? How do you then... roll that? It's, uh, a, it's, a, want... it's a non it's a non weapon proficiency. Right. So if you have the proficiency, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, well, I... we're in. Just checking the rule book. Well, we're in the. I'm just checking the rule book for um the. So is it under time and movement, or is it somewhere else? The stuff about ah, uh, I think it's time and movement is tide. water consumption, and then yeah, that's protect. where water consumption is. Certainly. Oh, so what were you looking for? No, just checking for yeah, what uh, knowing what people need. I think they everyone can have a full requirement of water, I guess, can't they? Yeah, yeah. so uh, um, a, a gallon a day with movement, half that without. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I need a, a fourteen to successfully protect myself from the heat. I get a 13 and I succeed. So I, I take mm -hmm. half water today. Okay, so yeah, this will be quicker in subsequent times. But for now, we've got um, Gallon for Steve, Gallon for Maeve, Gallon for Varys, Gallon for Sidira, half Gallon for um, Gadir. Um, Gadir. And then we've got two Kanks. Um, oh yeah, what did it, what did it um, Stiff will need more water than that, though, won't he? Yeah, he needs. Stiff yeah, needs four. more. Uh, Stiff, needs Stiff, more Stiff, Stiff, Stiff needs four. Yeah. Okay, four, five, six, big. seven, and a half. Plus and Kanks, Kanks need, need two each. Two each. <laughs> eight, he drinks nine, more eight, than the Kanks. Kanks need two and a half, two each. 
two each. Right. So <laughs> four for the Kangs. Four, for, yeah, four for the, the Giant. That brings us to eight, nine, yeah. ten, eleven and a half. Okay. Oh, if he, if he. Oh. Are you, are you back? Are you back, Div? Are you back? <laughs> quiet. He's just eating a donut or something. I am yeah, here. Just oh. it's got impeccable timing. He sits down, eats a donut, look looks surprised at the camera. No, it is a uh, it's fed it's gallons of cookie. water. Oh, a cookie is it? Right, Alex. <laughs> oh well, I was a cookie yeah. artist, and this is a reject, so I get to eat it. Nice. <laughs> that is that all you deserve? Nice. Basically, <laughs> I'm worth I'm worth the rejects. So, Brian. Oh. So uh, uh, as as uh, you're, everyone's drinking their water um, and you need to uh, take care of rations as well, uh, Kanks need five pounds of plants and vegetables per day uh, as well. So oh, oh we need that easy did, in the desert. Did anyone get Kank foot food for the Kanks on the? On yeah, the... Uh, maybe not. Uh... I'm <laughs> going to pretend that I remembered that and cross off my four remaining coins. I guess. How much? What would what would kank food even cost? Is it <laughs> that's probably actually in the book, isn't it? It's feed. I, horse feed. I mean, it's probably cheaper than human food because it's probably just like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like feed it's... oats and stuff. And yeah. I was congratulating myself earlier on remembering oh. everything I've made. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is every game we play. People are like when you're shopping list. Yeah, well, it's, it's, not even, it's not even people. It's just me every time. I'm like, right, we fucked up this time. Um, but we'll we'll, 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 get, we'll get a shopping list and sort it out for next time. I uh, mean, you say we, but it, I, it's probably me more than often than not. No, no, I, I, I'm the one who started the shopping list thing. You know, I'm like, right, yeah, we're I'm on a nice asteroid. Should have, brought, should, have, should have brought gloves, you know. Uh, I don't, I don't what was see the decision it in the book. on cost and wait for feed? Where is it in the core book? Uh, it'll, prob I'll, I'll um, it'll probably I'll be the same. I'll just scroll through right? quickly. I assume I don't I've bought some food. Yeah, put I them in the rule book. I didn't see dark any sun dark sun book. But I, I'm going to check the um, the the core players book. Uh, okay, see I'll if it's in there. So guys, you're, what you're saying is you get to camp and then there is like a hurried conversation about food. <laughs> it turns out no Has anyone fed the horse? <laughs> uh, while we do that, I just forgot how much I bought and how much it cost. I'll tell you as soon as I remember. Still. <laughs> Stiv, do you want to tell us while this is this conversation is ongoing? Do you want to tell us who Stiv is and why he's with this party? <laughs> uh, Stiv is actually a somewhat short half giant, which still makes him very large compared to everyone else. <clears throat> uh, and he is a technically a Myrmidon, which is basically just like yeah. a professional fighter. Um, I think the big thing I get from that is uh, an extra specialization. Mm. Um, yeah. And yeah, being a professional fighter, he is a professional. Yeah. He's here for money, and I think secretly deep down, he also wants to be like, he would mm -hmm. love to be famous for being good at fighting and stuff. But but mostly, he's just doing the work. Yeah. Yeah, fighters are slightly different in Dark Sun to core two A D and D. Um, because the particular thing being that they uh, get a bunch. of extra abilities around training and leading soldiers and making war machines um and they get one uh, form of class specific bonus xp relates to that so it kind of points people playing particularly like single class fighters it points them towards like yeah i want to end up being good at fighting being known as a commander of troops uh, if you want to be like a hardcore like just combat guy you you pick gladiator instead um, yeah and i and i have a okay so, charisma it used to be better with the idea, because I picked half giant, um, so I lowered it. But but I still have a thirteen charisma with the idea that you know he's got an eye towards sort of a leadership role, mm -hmm. potentially. We'll see how yeah. that goes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He'll probably just die the next session. Um, Alex and Tom, have you worked out feed feed costs yet? No, no I think and Andrew found the closest so far, which is grain and stabling for five silver pieces a day. From, I assume the players. Works out as half a ceramic piece, but in Dark Sun, because the currency is different. Actually, that's that's not too unreasonable. Yeah. Give, but... Well, I don't know, because it's like a free copper, a free ceramic a week or something for normal food, so. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, provisions, grain, horse meal, one day, one silver. Uh, have you just found it? So make that uh, one bit. One, That's yeah. one bit. I, so I went to the first edition player's handbook. Oh, right, right. How much so, silver are you, Owen? So if that's not point... What we need, get... what do you say, five pounds um, uh, per cank? I have four ceramic pieces. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's going to be... point one each, I can buy 40 days worth. 40 days worth. Yeah, so it's it. five pounds per ration. That'd be, yeah, five pounds, but it's one pound for a human, five pound for an animal, for a cank, basically. Um, so... Oh God, oh, do... Iron rations are one pound. Should we... Do you want to get, like, 20 days of rations, then? Um, well, that, that's that's only enough to travel, <laughs> you know, for for ten days because we've got yeah, two. Okay. Well, let's get all forty then. I'll. I've, yeah. If, if you're I've right, got the it. money, I can foot it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And then that's what two hundred pounds weight. Yeah. Yeah, and we still got green yeah. and yes. that. I'm so glad yeah. I had spare um, Yeah, you're in Sandy. <laughs> Before literally your party's animals starve to death within days of the game starting. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dark Sun. <laughs> yeah. So we need to take uh, two I, of those off anyway. I cause... like to imagine Varys is just running along being like, I need no food like a cag, running really fast because elves just love running around everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> they actually do and they don't um, like mounts at all. So I've just been kind of keeping pace yeah. alongside. Why are they not doing this? It's so much easier. All right, so and then geez, yeah. do, there's how many how many rations does the giant eat? So it's comfortable to sit on. <laughs> what was that, Tom? How many rations oh. does the giant eat? How many rations do we take? Oh, off? Uh, I think it might also be four rations. So we need to take uh. off eight <laughs> rations. Okay, fine. Uh, did, did did he contribute any ration? Did he contribute any rations at all, or are you just eating all our lunch? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I also, I'm well, not Stiv, sure how Stiv, exactly... Stiv, did you bring any? Did you bring any rations, Stiv? Or I did. Okay. I, I added the them caravan? to the. Uh, yeah, I added them to the caravan sheet. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I also I. I did, did you bring enough spear? Thank you very much. Well, that's real nice. I'll 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 take a bite out of that when we start starting. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how how long is our journey expected to be. All right, I've taken off the rations, the water, and the cank feed. Firewood? Or are we not lighting a fire? Yeah. What's did, the weather? Did you did you bring wood? Yeah. Of course, I brought wood. I planned ahead mostly. Well, it's what dry. Do you, what do you want a fire for? I need no dry, fire. Dry, dry, it's dry, dry cool. It's a it's sandy waste. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. sandy waste by night. Two hundred and fifty um, pounds of fat surrounding me. I'll be fine. Humans. <laughs> Can't even see uh, in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's cool. It's not freezing. You can come sleep next Up to me, to I'll you. keep you warm. <laughs> I think we should avoid lighting fires if we can. Don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who right. knows what's out there? Um, no. I'm still sleeping in my own tent. Okay. In that case, Brian, do you want... <laughs> <Bro, it's on. laughs> <laughs> don't be so disrespectful to... I was going to say, I don't know, maybe Sidira feels differently, but like Maeve is a, is a lady. She's she, she wants her privacy. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure that Steve takes off all of the tent that you have. I, I've, I've not got a tent. I'm, Steve. I'm, I'm, Steve. <laughs> I actually do have a lot. I do actually have a large tent that is the intention is that we can share it if we need to, except Steve probably. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, no, Kadea good good doesn't have or want a tent. He, he just probably, you know, tends to kanks and then like lies down underneath one of them. Yeah. I specifically saw that Tom had bought a large tent and bought my own there after that. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Sidira's so like, "Hey, why don't you pitch the tent and all get in?" And Maeve's like, "No." <laughs> Does Varys need go in the tent, or is Varys uh, out in the open? Varys will sleep out in the open. Um, being a, a, a yeah. full elf, the 
half harsh elements don't um, affect him as much as these half races. Mm. I'm not half. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think I think Gadea th thinks for about whoa, a minute whoa, whoa. about saying something. Both embarrassed. And then, and then, and then he should say something like that and just like sh shrugs and hopes his eyelids crust up or something. They do yeah. not. <laughs> um. It has been known that I can withstand up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit with only a mild discomfort. What's that in real units? <laughs> oh, like 40 ish. I know which knife and very hot. Meant to use. Yeah. Very high, high, very high 30s, I think. <laughs> yeah, high 30s, I think. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I think we don't need to worry. Um, oh, I say this, it does actually matter. Where, where is the rule? You know, the stuff about um, you checking um, for travel, kind of travel danger based on um, what you're wearing. But I think I, probably most people aren't actually wearing anything that heavy. I say that, it depends whether the Templar is wearing his. His armor all the time because that might matter um, I, where am i finding this where am i looking at? yeah i probably would have the armor on at all times but knowing that being an elf mm. I, I can kind of compensate for some of that yeah just uh trying to remind myself um of where the thing I'm looking for is because yeah we should probably make sure we're we're punishing you for <laughs> for your overland movement. Um, I don't think it's in the uh, in the core box. Maybe it's in June Trader. Uh, sorry about that. So yeah, is is Steve just in the tent then? Is it like Steve. just Steve and Sadira? Is he just Steve <laughs> now? <laughs> Last is all of Steve. twenty minutes. How he's Steve? That's not how we were meant to pronounce it. <laughs> no, Steve. Still, just Stiv. Yeah, the campaign's over, guys. The yeah. campaign's goes... over. Stiv goes wild, kills us all. Yeah, maybe it is Stiv. Steve, but he has a weird accent, so he's like, "My name's Stiv." <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> half, yeah, half, I, half giants have a weird. I thought he was. He's Australian. He's from the Australia. <laughs> New, New Zealand. They have a New Zealand accent. <laughs> all half yeah, giants he's... have a New Zealand accent. <laughs> half giants are from New Zealand in Dark Sun. Yeah. Well, and oh no, no Brian's going to practice yeah. this for next time and just have like this dodgy. Oh, it's dodgy. <laughs> yeah. I, it's a tricky one. Um, yeah, I, I assumed he was going to sleep outside the tent because he was going to keep watch. But uh, if no one else goes in the tent, then he'll probably just be like, "Oh, I'll go sleep in the tent then." <laughs> yeah. Takes advantage of the uh, uh, everyone else's uh, being too tough and hard, apparently, for to sleep in the yeah. tent. I'm just too wealthy. It's too wealthy to sleep in a tent yeah. with the poor people. No, to sleep in your tent. Oh, to sleep in a different no. tent. Well, I, don't, I don't have a tent. Maybe... You know, the world yeah. is my tent. Well, Sadira is going to use the tent that she brought along because you know she has enough being dusty yeah. in general. So the two, the two ladies brought tents and the, the gents uh, are all sleeping out fine. <laughs> I, stre I stretch out and I take up the entire <laughs> tent myself. Oh, stiff, stiff's legs. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like... <laughs> yeah. Sadira, while mildly annoyed by this, is like... This large... Vaguely comforted by the presence of that many hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Does Sadira say it out loud? <laughs> like... Definitely not. By <laughs> the amount of hit points. You can hide behind one of my legs. Yeah, while yeah. Are just, at just us. sort of like, yeah. Gets, gets one of the legs between, uh, between the door and and her. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say yeah. I, so the big thing is for metal, uh, metal armor. If you're fighting during the day, you add one to your Thacko for every round of combat beyond the first and will collapse exhausted from the heat in a number of rounds equal to your constitution score. You, none of you are rich enough to have metal armor, so right now it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Um, Brian, do a night encounter check. See what comes and eats you. Well, what comes and eats everyone else? I'm in the tent now. They're outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, um, yeah. Oh. yeah. So, Owen, is it a one or a six that we fear? You fear ones. You fear ones. <sighs> oh, okay. we, we, I, I think at some point we started doing one, uh, we started doing sixes in the other games, so I'm glad to hear it's one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're like, you hear a skittering, you hear some horrendous screaming outside, the guys who are outside feel like strange presences, uh, and then as you look around, you're like, oh, no, wait, that was just something in the food. Um, it's fine. <laughs> the cheese. <It's fine>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone realises they're just having really unpleasant nightmares. Um, <laughs> yeah, just... Oh, where's Tem I'm, lo I'm looking in at Kim Moen's Wilderness Survival Guide. Uh, just for temperature guidance. For The fact it's really cold at night. Temperature and wind, let's look there. Is it going to be cold enough to make you test for stuff for those of you who are outside? Uh, we'd be fine if we'd let a fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're you're in a tent, aren't you? You know, you're mm. you're probably okay. Um, you're probably the thing is you're all in in mo in moderate clothing, um, slash with some kind of hot hot clothing options. So you probably have like an over layer and a middle layer. Um, would like you add an extra thing and moderate is from 31 to 75 degrees 31 is what freezing point isn't it so yeah um yeah so basically it's not going to be below freezing at this time of year it's cold but everyone's just like they get their extra jacket on pretty much and uh, <laughs> just hope for the best okay next day uh, after that strange cheese dream night you're going to travel down you're coming along the northern edge of a silt lake if that wants to move because i've just moved the uh and yeah you're continuing sandy waste which means your the movement cost is three uh which is going to reduce you to uh 20 miles isn't it because it as that's that's a divider that's a divisor of your your main speed which is going to be 60 we, isn't it we are running uh, at, it's going to be six miles a day we are running at a higher how fast are you encumbrance going? because of the load on the wagon as well at the moment is that is that moderate encumbrance what's the uh it, well this was kind of a, a house rule that we agreed with you when uh we were saying can the one kank pull the yeah. 2500 pound wagon um and we yeah. agreed yes but at a penalty so i suppose moderate encumbrance would make sense given where it is <laughs> yeah yeah no so in that case you'd be you'd be equivalent you'd think your foot speed would go down to six miles a day um sorry to 12 uh, to 12 miles a day and oh no, why have i got myself confused ignore me for a moment let my brain come back in um six is uh 24 miles a day isn't it um still, so... still grabs the other side of the of i think the, like oh yeah thing, and I, I pull and to help the I, I don't have that much encumbrance on myself personally, and I can carry yeah. a crap load. What? Uh, can you define crap load here? Uh, so the calculations <laughs> I have on this sheet, if they're correct, is uh, my light encumbrance starts at six hundred and thirty-six. Oh wow! Yeah, you can you can <laughs> wow. you can get us you can get us just like if we shift some stuff onto the kank, then we can get ourselves back under the encumbrance layer. If you can help lifting stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I could absolutely, like, uh, obviously it's more about making it not awkward to carry, but, I mean, if we can load things into, like, a, a sack. Like well, I can, can you, walking. are you able to just grab one of the poles and help lift the cart? Is that possible? Or? Yeah, definitely. I could, I mean, I have no problem helping pull if it keeps us moving at a good clip. Yeah, let's mm. do that then. I'll take yeah. the tent off and I'll put it on the kanks. That way... Uh, and I assume you're carrying some stuff already, right? So maybe I'll... Um... Not much. Mostly just my, like, harness and stuff. I've got a fire kit. Um... I'll put the kank feed on one of the kanks as well, because they can carry quite a lot. Mm. Um, uh, uh, what on earth is going on here? I've got some saddlebags we could put on them. Bleh. I just, uh, just sl <laughs> sling them around my shoulders. Just kinda... You have a kank, Maeve. Okay. Oh, he was asking if yeah. Like, why uh, did you? Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> you offer your own. Here, you can carry my stuff. Um, in my defense, you agreed this house rule separately from me buying the kank. I wasn't aware of this when I bought the kank. 
<laughs> are you willing to have your kank pull the thing as well? <laughs> I don't have a bridle for it. Like ah. a, a cart harness. Wow, wow. And remember, an extra kank is really just a mobile food source. Uh, when things go bad. the thoroughbred. You can't eat kank. You, well, not with that attitude. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> you can't. Way already. <laughs> Even if uh, right cream one... we said it was literally right. toxic to eat them. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's 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 Steve's, Steve's going to help pull the cart. I've moved some stuff over to my kank, which will hopefully mean that the kank can carry its stuff as well as pull this cart, and Steve can also pull the cart, and that will get us back to under encumbrance. Please DM. <laughs> Uh, is everyone else unencumbered? Yeah. Or are uh, people lightly encumbered or what? Unencumbered. Okay. Uh, light. Yeah, I like light encumbrance. Yeah. Most of my stuff's either on the cart. Okay, in that case... Um, oh, I think actually I, I put all my food on the cart, so I'm actually uh, is, unencumbered. Yeah. Stiv, are half giants base rate 12? Or are they quicker than that or what? Their base rate's 30. So I, th I think basically you'll be going 24 miles a day. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Yeah. I just accepted the default in my sheet head. Uh, I'll have to check in the dark side. Uh, half, half giants are real quick there. So, mm -hmm. so like, half... So, so it's... it's mo Most things are speed 24, half giants are speed 30. Which then, you know, kind of translates to roughly about 12 miles mm -hmm. a day for most things in most uh, of the terrain. Yeah. You know, like, salt, salt flats, you could go 24 miles in a day. Oh, so my base rate, I should put down 30... Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your base rate of twenty four on sandy sandy wastes is going to go down to eight. So we're basically roughly a square a day, just under that, averaging over a period of time, because it's cost three, isn't it? So like the yeah. divider is three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So um, Todd, uh, roll your oh, counter check. The, the, the kank only has uh, a speed of fifteen, so we're only going five because we can't go faster than that. <laughs> Oh, fine. So, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll make it up. We'll make you'll spend two per hex in these two squares then. Um, Tom, yeah, you, you roll in person. That's fine. And tell yeah. us what you get. Uh, it's, uh, three. Three. So, uh, yeah, you continue on uh, on another pretty Maybe indifferent hot day. Uh, not the most exciting. Uh, but also, you know, you, you'd rather this than some of the alternatives. Um, you've probably each experienced over time. Like, what what are the uh, what are some of, some of your worst experiences out in the desert? Um, I really haven't had any. This is kind of out in the wilds. Is kind of home. <laughs> uh, I was once buried yeah. up to the neck for a day. That wasn't pleasant. Be buried in what? Dare I ask? Sand, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, but. Uh... But, you know, there, there are worse things to be buried in. <laughs> you know, like kank meat. Yes, well, I, you know. I think once you're stuck <laughs> in the desert buried up to your neck, what you're buried in is a little academic. I, I suppose. I think there was a bug in my tent last night. <laughs> oh, 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 poor dear. <laughs> What what kind of what's, bug? What's Stib's was worst it... experience? Was... was it a kank or was it? <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was it the kind that bites or the kind that crawls or the kind that stings? It's uh, tell me more. It had too many eyes scrape. and they were looking at me. <laughs> yeah, Stib has severe um, issues with snoring uh, and mild sleep apnea. So. <laughs> 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 yeah he's basically he, he, he's just a, someone who definitely shouldn't be going adventuring he's just, he's like no i'm fine i'm fine uh yeah yeah i was told i had to learn my cholesterol you're right how did you guess <laughs> um yeah so um and uh yeah well, what about uh uh, what about Gadea? No, sorry. No, uh, yeah, what about Gadea? What was Gadea's worst uh, experience in the desert? He'll, he'll, he'll probably be, be a little bit, you know, a little bit evasive when the the, the topic turns up. So, eventually, tells like when he was he was uh, a, a fair bit younger, uh, started 
traveling by himself. He'd found himself uh, somewhere near here and was uh, running out of water, doing his best to make it last. Uh, he was finally, you know, kind of kind of collapsing from exhaustion. Uh, and then he hears these, this howling out of nowhere. And he, he wasn't sure if, if that was just the end or, you know, if something had awful was coming to get him or it was just... Just, just that's how you know that's that's what like dying of dehydration's like, um, and then he doesn't explain what the howling was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was dying in the desert, and, I, and, and then I heard screaming all around. Yeah, it was awful. Imagine that. This is why I hate nature. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, the feelings mutual. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> I'd like to imagine every time someone says this happened to me, Barris is like, "Yeah, that's never happened to me." <laughs> yeah. Just like this insufferable, insufferable know it all about like, "Yeah, I'm fine in the, I'm fine in the wilderness." Yeah, um, anything from freezing to forty degrees, I am toasty. So, something I kind of want to ask the party because they probably have noticed. What 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 are people like armed with? Because. You've probably noticed Gadea doesn't really have yeah. a weapon on him. He has like he has a longbow and he's holding a staff, but the staff doesn't really look like a weapon. It's like he's walking with it. He does have like a like a, a, a rope coiled up on his hip. Um, kind of you might might notice it's tied in a noose. Uh, a noose, not a noose. Uh, a lasso, which is very, <laughs> very, very very similar to a noose. It's just different <laughs> different purposes. <laughs> Why are you a hanging judge? Like, the, the, yeah. just going like I'm looking for those who defy nature. But the knots are similar. The purpose is different. <laughs> uh, Sidera also just has a quarter staff and a uh, a sling tied around a belt loop. Yeah, Maeve has a fancy looking obsidian dagger on her belt. La di da. Uh, you see that Varys uh, has a longbow thrown over his shoulder and he is carrying his main weapon, which is a... I'm going to absolutely butcher this name, but I believe it's a Githka. I think it's a Githka. But... Githka? Yeah, it's Githka, yeah. Is it a Githka? Um, it's oh, I'm always wrong. <laughs> um, a long pole arm with uh, metal spikes kind of at each end of it. But she uh, has specialised in training. Are they, so... are they metal or are they metal? No. Um, no, aren't they made of like? Uh, if it's metal, you're richer than I am. They're they're, oh. they're, they're thrycreen made, so I... yeah, it's whatever the thrycreen. It's a thrycreen weapon. Yeah, so maybe not metal. It might be, you know, something. Yeah. Like most of our weapons aren't going to be metal because metal is super expensive. Yeah. Not coincidentally, most of our weapons can break. So the guys goes mm. a type of exactly quite striking and unique to them. Mm. Uh, it was a long handed a long two handed pole arm with a crescent shaped blade mounted on each end. Um, Obsidian or something, probably. Uh, yeah. Well, like... Let's um, let's let's say that it Yeah, it doesn't actually say. No. Oh. Heighten maybe, mm. or is that like was I Grave robbing you for uh, Yeah. <laughs> bit, <laughs> bit macabre. Uh, I, I don't know what <laughs> Tricreen society is like. But then again, uh, many of us might be using bone weapons, so. Yeah. And they probably bone. are, like, human yeah. slash elf bones or whatever. Nah, well, actually, I don't know, because it's not, you know, all the other, all the animals are insects. They don't really have bones, do they? Well, you, you can use titan. It's, uh, yeah. it's made from some kind of crystalline material at the, the ends. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yes, it's yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, you just don't. Uh, you don't. Ha I actually, do you know? I have. Let's uh, try Queen of Athos. Um, I feel like Varys isn't really oh. sure and just took it as a trophy at some point. <laughs> oh no, this is my. This is <laughs> this is my weapon. There are many Githka, but this is mine. Without this, I am nothing. Without my Githka, this <laughs> is nothing. Yeah. And um, of the Strike Queen weapons, in his. Uh, in his back, in his kind of belt, um, on his back, he has two small um, throwing stars, which I 
another um, Thry Korean weapon, but I cannot pronounce them. It's the What's chat. The... Chat, the... chat. Yeah, I think chat, it is. Yeah, uh, the... <laughs> I quite enjoy the Varys has like, them. Varys has these Varys has these like special weapons they've taken from the Thry Queen and he's like, I'm an expert on the Thry Queen and you're like, Oh, what are they called? And he's like, I I can't pronounce them. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just kill Thry Queen and take their stuff. The, uh, the, he yeah, can't cat. pronounce it. He's not, his his mouth doesn't work the right way. Well yeah. true. I'll have to rip out my own yeah. to get my jaw just to get it at the right um, <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think you'd know that the crystal is called Dazzle. Dazzle. Um, I think. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I it's, it's the pole arm with Dazzle um, crystalline. <laughs> wow! Tell me more. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know anything else. Um, he does I, have I'm one. not. I would say I think that he knows. I was going to say, do you think he'd know how much about how Thry Queens make their stuff? How much does he know about? Um, um, yeah, I'm, he, I'm not sure he'd know. Uh, he he might be. He'd probably be very interested in knowing. Yes, he would like to learn as much as he can. I, sus I suspect. Um, and he does have one killing party them. piece with the uh, his throne weapons. He pulls one out. It almost looks kind mm -hmm. of like a troll blade, and he uh, he pulls out, spins in his hand. And then he throws it and it arcs up in the sky and then comes back to his hand. Impressive. Thank you. <laughs> How do you make So, Steve is New a Kiwi and you're Australian. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what um, weapons Steve got? Or do you I'm not just hold dead. Uh, Steve, Steve is, uh, compared to most of you, it probably looks like Stiv is bristling with weapons. Yeah. <laughs> All of you are just carrying sticks and like one yeah. dagger. Uh, I have two bone spears, one backup, uh, a shield, a long bow, and a sheaf of bone tipped arrows. Wow. Huh. I guess that's why you're the bodyguard. <clears throat> yeah. That's also why I didn't have a lot of money left over to contribute too much yeah. to the caravan. So I. I figured if I'm going to be standing in front of most of the danger, I'm going to get stuff. Yeah, uh, for, for what it's worth, uh, Dazzle is strong as steel, but about half the weight. Mm. It is, yeah. yeah. This guy has, like, the best weapons here. It's noticeable Faris has the best weapons here. It's the only thing that's not going to uh, break, except our bows, I guess. Yeah, yeah albeit... Yeah, I was going to say, it, it depends on uh, yeah, arrow, what arrow tips are as well, because obviously they can break on the same conditions. You, you could lose arrows in a different way, um, oh. apart from just general breakage. I, uh, okay. I, I, I just got male arrows. Uh, male pierce arrows? What, the, what, what are those? I don't know. I saw them in... I was in a, a bazaar, and I came across them, and they were quite nice. They were in a catalogue. <laughs> and I could afford them. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds similar to some of my purchasing decisions. Decisions. What, yeah. do, what, what do they do? Um, uh, Sidira, do you want to roll um, a daytime encounter as your? Oh no, it's not Sidira. You've you travelled. It's night time. So Andrew, do you want to roll a nighttime encounter? Oh, uh, as you're comparing your weapons and having a bit of a yes. Heat protection succeeds. Yep. So I'm again only consuming. Uh, okay, half. spend food and spend food and water. Spend food and water. So your heat protection succeeds. So we take off another eleven point five. Fine. Is um, is Varus casting um, create water at all? Yes, I'll be casting that then, um, kind of once per day. At the start of every day, it get um, a, it's a half gallon. Half gallon back. Okay, water. so I'll add one gallon back, shall I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quite yeah. enjoy the idea that like they're like Varys. So you 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 know how to do create water? Like, how, how, are you going to do it? And Varys is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have the yeah. almighty power yeah. of the sorcerer king. You could just create water out of thin air. 
That will handle <laughs> one fourth of my daily needs. <laughs> he can only do half a gallon a day, though. So. One eighth. Yeah, one eighth. <laughs> that's that's a one sip eight. for me in the morning. That's just my my morning tea. <laughs> so um, I, lo it, I love the idea yeah. of half pints drinking a small cup of tea. <laughs> I mean, it was always dry. Pinky out. out. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, food and water um, are dealt with. Okay. So you need your your second day in this in this square, then, don't you? So that's going to be uh, Phil's encounter check. Yeah. Um, while you're doing that, that's a D six. Yeah. Uh, five. Uh, yep. No, you have a, another quiet day. It is it is eerie traveling through um, this pretty abandoned area. You can see out, you're kind of coming along the coast. You see out to the Great Silt Sea. Um, you can see to this lake to the south, um, in which pro probably at points you will catch gl a glimpse um, in uh, that uh, silt. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll catch a, a glimpse to your north as you curve, come around the curve of uh, some sort of ruin off the road that you're traveling on um, and your travel continue traveling down south of it it's uh possibly uh yeah it might be marked on on a, on the map that sisera mentioned he had um but yeah you continue through i guess um as we get to camp do you want to take off uh do you want to make your check alex and yeah, Tom, yeah. Do you want to take off appropriate water uh yeah bear with me um that's just a success. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, for a nighttime encounter, uh, we're back to Alex. Do you want to make your encounter check for the night, Alex? I, I, I don't like the pressure that's being put on me here. Like, I rolled first, and now I'm rolling <laughs> again, and uh, it's a two. It's a Ooh, two. Cool. Yeah. Hey, you've only got you've only got a day and a half's travel left. Look on the bright yeah. side. That's only statistically the point at which you'll start rolling eventually. Away. What could go wrong? <laughs> right, sorry, sun. so that's one more day. Did you succeed with your heat thingy? Uh, just, I just succeeded, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so that will cancel out the cast of... Create water by Varus. Yes. So I need to just take off eleven. Yeah. Would that ruin we pass have any sort of military significance with my ancient military history proficiency? Yes. Roll roll your proficiency as you as you go. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like some possibly uh, you're you're some miles away from it, and you're like, it looks like some buildings by the Silt Sea. Oh, I, I, you're free I think to speculate I might, as you like. I might be a little bit silly. I think I've just remembered I have the hunting non-weapon proficiency, so I might have been able to. I don't know if 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 you can can you use that as you travel, like hunting as you go, or is that like specifically spend a day hunting? Mm, I think so. That's... Uh, well, I probably should have been doing that. I think you slow your, uh, you slow the party down. I think by by doing so, but I'll, I'll check. Let's check in the. Uh, oh, it's it's kind of spe specifically you choose to use it. Um, proficiency check mm. made with a penalty for each non-proficient hunter. If the die roll is su successful, the hunter and those with him have come within one to two hundred yards of an animal. Can mm. attempt to close range. Stalking successful hunter. Automatic surprise of the game, and then you can hunt it. So it's not like just get resources. It's like you find something and then can try and hunt it down. And I guess you yes. can take friends. Yeah, with... mini game. <laughs> mini game. In Dark Sun, yeah. the hunted becomes the hunter. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that when we like run yeah. out of rations because we still got. Yeah, pray hunt you. We still have fresh rations, so there's no point doing that at all this week. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's oh, still I... a one in six chance that we find rations anyway. <laughs> Not if it's some disgusting can't eat creature like, like our elves. Kank. Yeah, if it's a kank, yeah. yeah. We can't eat elves. We elves can't eat are edible. Humans. No, none of us are halflings. 
Elves <laughs> look pretty delicious. The halflings are cannibals? Yeah. I thought that was just a rumor. No. <laughs> it's, what, it's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some stuff, and honestly, there's parts of this place desert I can't go <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, good, good, good news for you. I hear me live in the jungle. Yeah. You haven't seen the places yeah. I've been to. Yeah. You haven't seen what I've seen. <laughs> Halflings are those ones that come up to my ankles. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Yeah. yeah um, be good eating on you. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, so, uh, yeah, you. Um, uh, you're traveling into the uh, day, going into the next square, and it's uh, Beej's encounter check as you head towards Fort Cicero. You're still a, a day and a bit away from it, so you've got... Nailed yeah. it. So you've managed to roll to... It's good that it's ones, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you can you continue on your way and um, arrive, uh, kind of arrive in a slightly rockier outcrop uh, you find some high ground on the, there is like a, there is a, a road or track like in fact at points you're fairly sure that there's like because this is the 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 way marked as like oh if you go along the coast um it's almost as if there are the remains of roads are places you find areas of stone and this isn't completely un unusual in on Athos like people are like oh yeah there's I just found a road in the middle of nowhere you know or I I looked out into the silt sea and I saw something on an island you know things do live on islands in fact in some places uh, like at Lidopolis particularly. Um, you've got, uh, uh, yeah, north and south of Lidopolis next to Lido Island. You have fairly significant advanced things going on around. But the fact there's always this sense that there's stuff was here, but it's not here really anymore. Or you could just you could just go out into the wilderness pretty much if you went out into the wilderness here. You're like, maybe we'll just find something, you know. Uh, but this stretch of road that you've come along has felt pretty empty and blasted. Uh, just It's just hot. <laughs> it's just hot and unpleasant. Um this is yeah. prime okay. silk property. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, indeed. Why, why aren't more people building beach huts? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Uh, Alex, you want to make your, your heat protection check? Yeah, yeah. And then That's it's... A uh, it's Sidiri. It's, yeah, so that is a full gallon. It's Sidiri. It, it, it really check. is a hot day today. Hot and awful. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt dice cam. Hang on. <laughs> dice cam why why is it so red oh it's possible uh it's possible i've got a red light on i uh, <laughs> i was testing a halloween setup so <laughs> that is what we got five 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 <laughs> Alfie? Alfie? no no that is a camera <laughs> Dice cam's the worst. Ban dice cam. Why is that? That's what I think. Because uh... you didn't roll a one. <laughs> oh, well. It, uh, no, so so what you want is me to lie about my I dice want to roll happen. and say it was a one. Don't get me wrong. I can I can do dice cam. I'm going to find an excuse to roll no, a D50. No, I, I, I want this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, do, could someone roll 2d12? Two, two this sounds dramatic, possibly because it is. Do you want to roll 2d12? Sure. This is a uh, nighttime encounter, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, tw twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, the big number. I'm scared. Oh, I go to subtable G. Do I? Could oh, you God. roll two d eight? Subtable G. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so Nothing good lurks in subtable G. <laughs> subtable G is the worst. <laughs> See, hey, a great thing about running... This is the first time I've run Dark Sun playing a and I, um, The first ever D&D campaign I ran was a Dark Sun campaign. Oh. Using 4th, though, so it was like... Which oh. doesn't completely not suit Dark Sun in some ways because the idea of, like, big tactical battles... I had, mm. I, like, I had to make up rules, but the idea that you had, like, these big tactical battles with your heroes running around doing stuff, which is actually very much battle... Like, the battle system idea, or can be the battle system idea in um, in D&D. Um, yeah, was very much like that. So in that sense, it did suit... Um, let's find out, guys. I don't even know what I rolled, so I've got to <laughs> got to Google, Google it. it quickly, figure out what we're fighting. Yeah, it's that bad. Let's be I honest. Think it's uh, nondescript <laughs> entities. Turn, turn around. We're going. We're going back home. 
<laughs> so it's good, you know, Jay only rolled one character, the rest of you have backup characters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got I've got three three more in the wings. I have one. Yeah. I could add more if I wasn't lazy. I think I'm playing the one for least hit points. Bring it on, I have I have infinite hit points. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, don't you have like thirty hit points or something mad? Forty. <laughs> oh I've got five. <laughs> I've got ten. <laughs> get behind, get behind How the scrawny one. Wait, how did you only get ten? Well, I, um... I'm, I'm, I've got five because I'm second level, and I've got no con bonus. Yeah, five has more than ten. It turned out I had six, not four, but yeah, still not great. I really hope that I'm not uh, going to be driving the um, caravan. Could... Ah. Could that could could Varys and Gidea um make um could you each roll a d twenty please? Oh dear. No. Oh dear. Gidea I, I gets just... an eight. And a three. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, you. Uh, you suffer, each of you, nightmares of extreme horror. Uh, you f you feel like you're both being hunted, stalked, eventually killed over and over and over again in, in horrendous uh, detail by these creatures. Um, li reptilian creatures, perhaps, but they've got this... They're, uh, instead of like a normal head, they've got a head, but it's almost like a gigantic bone plate with teeth that take up half of it, gigantic canines, um, long curving tusks... The claws uh, is by it's a quadrupedal. The claws are um, large, massive bone daggers. They're as big as a Githka blade. That's the big thing that Varys takes away from it as he's going. Oh, um, over and over again, and uh, you simply uh, do not rest uh, properly. Uh, you oh. are fatigued. You've uh, yeah. You suffer a minus one to all rolls, and you count as moderately encumbered. Uh, this is going to apply. This is so bad. This is so bad um, that it will apply for three days. Oh dear! As in, oh. like whenever you, whenever you, the next day, whenever you sit down and try to just take a quick break, you know, it's lunchtime, so you're like, well, we're stopping for forty minutes. You just, uh, uh, yeah, you have recurrent nightmares. You just cannot get them out of your heads. Do I have? I have um, animal law. Do I have any idea what these creatures are? Uh, bro. Yeah. Do we all have like like this is a shared dream? Like we all have the same dream? Just Varus and Gadea. Nope, that's, just that's, just just Varus and Gadea, yeah. That's a success. Oh okay. That's good. That's a success. Yeah. Uh should I send you a message? Yeah yeah. I, I, I imagine like I mean, Gadea's think... not gonna talk to anyone about these nightmares, just gonna pretend they're not happening, you know, just blame it on the heat <laughs> and try, you know, oh I'm not yeah. used to travelling with people or whatever. Varus yeah, um, what does Varys say anything about this? Uh, he doesn't say anything. He just goes into full blown PTSD. It <laughs> is like the attack on his tribe by the Thrykreen, just it, but a thousand times worse again and again and again. And he is just effectively in shock and he's just stoic and he'll just trudge day after day after day and he'll just, he'll not mention anything, but he just goes. Almost zones out. So many secrets here. Varys, you look really tired. Each other. Would you like a piggyback ride? You see, he says nothing. He just kind of keeps just staring and is just. Just doesn't respond. He doesn't like piggyback rides. Oh. Oh dear. Uh... <laughs> Good news, I hope. Well, if we want to continue, if we want to keep pace, and they are being slow, then they may have to. They may have to like hop onto the cart, right? Yeah, they can get on the wagon. Oh dear. Uh, up to you. Did anything seem to? I get these nightmares, or was it just we came here and they had horrible nightmares? 
Well, we don't I, know. I don't yeah, know. We, he came we here arrested and he's supposed to have... Yeah. I, I feel like we didn't loot any cursed ruins yet, so... Yeah, <laughs> not, not yet. Was it, <laughs> like, was there, was there anything at the place we camped? Like, you know, any obvious ruin around or anything we might have seen in the morning? Uh, you were up in... You were up in um, the... Uh, a, a rocky outcrop. Um, it, it kind of just beside the remains of ancient road. Are these the two Templars? Gadea isn't a Templar, I don't think. No, no. But are you both elves? Is there something? Varys is a I, Templar. I'm, oh, a, I'm half elf. Elf temp. Half elf. Uh, Varys is an elf. I'm That's a half elf druid. And Sidira is an elf. Sidira is a half elf lord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Sidira is also half elf, so it's not uniquely targeting us for these reasons. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's just we were slightly closer to a, a cursed rock or something, and yeah. we didn't notice. We got clo we got close to a buried ruin, and it's got some psychic. Do Varus and Gadea want to ride vibes. on the cart yeah. for the day? No, no, no. Uh, I, I, I ride. Uh, it's it's nothing. I'm just 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 traveling with people. You are being slow. I shall carry you like a baby. I am not slow. You would have to catch me if you want to carry me, and you'll speed up just a little bit. Yeah, well, if you're moderately encumbered, doesn't that it doesn't that make you super I'm, slow? I'm I'm unencumbered. Oh. No, you're moderately encumbered because oh, of the fatigue. The fatigue. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. oh sorry, no, I missed that bit. I heard the actually, minus. You're, you're so fatigued. Right, I heard the minus one to all rolls. I didn't hear the. No, no. Fatigue. You're fatigued. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, that'll do it. Uh, well, I would try and push myself to go a bit faster. And what about what about Varys? Sounds like Varys uh, is shut down. Is Varys yeah. going to admit he has needs? Yeah. <laughs> He's just very malleable. Like if he, if Va Varys says, is slowing the party down. Yeah, if someone says to Varys that you need to kind of you're slowing the party down, you need to get on the cart. He'll probably just like like a good soldier. He'll just kind of follow the order and just get onto the the cart. Sit on the cart. I probably assume it's like dehydration or something. Yeah, like you're not yeah. getting enough water. We'll get we'll get. So who wants to cart, tell then? the crotchety Templar that he's slowing us down? Well, we don't know, <laughs> right? We just know it's a crotchety elf. He's, oh, like, no, I'm, <laughs> he's wearing, I'm, like, Templar armor, openly. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not uh, hiding this. This is out in the open. <laughs> Sidira will offer him a seat on the cart. Um, a little grudgingly, but uh, doesn't uh, doesn't want to slow the caravan down <laughs> and doesn't, uh, when push comes to shove, thinks you can leave this guy in the desert. Yeah, Varus will jump on the back of the cart and just mm. as he's sitting there, he'll uh, do his daily um, use of create water and just sit and sip. Uh, okay. How much could an elf weigh? 25 pounds? Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like nothing. I'm like... <laughs> in well, we've got loads of... They've got, like, they've got bones like birds do. Yeah, <laughs> just hollow. Like hollow bones. We, we have loads of yeah. weight on the cart left anyway, because we've been eating through our food and water pretty quick. So, well, the, fre the fresh food. Is. Yeah, the fresh uh, food will go through quick. Yeah, yeah, but that's the heavy stuff. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, Stiv, your daytime roll. Your you can retain the same speed, so you can make um, five miles a day, and it's your second in this hex. So you will arrive at Fort Cicero by. Before Sunday, no, no, by sundown. No, assuming you, you survive whatever the encounter. Okay, there let's get go. get out the encounter tables again. Yeah, yeah. In fact, could you roll me separately because you're traveling? Could you roll me a uh, d12? A d12. Okay. Just a d12. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to turn up on my, my screen. That is a 12. Okay. Mm. Uh, Are we going back to the table G? Hasn't, uh, I don't think I've got the D. No, um, could you uh, roll me a, I was using it, tables for travel. Could you roll me a uh, D6? Well, ah, oh, that's what you, yeah, uh, a two. Um, okay, so 
Um, you, I guess, uh, yes, yeah, Stiv, you are probably on point as you normally are, I feel like, given that you're the... I'm at the front of the cart. half giant bodyguard. Pull. Yeah. Yep. And... Uh, And I get crit from a um, long so, shot and die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, let's. Uh, yeah, uh, it's lucky. You know, you're big enough that you t you take the brunt of uh, what we, you're kind of passing some uh, scraggly uh, scrub and, and cactus um, off to your off to your kind of right, um, and out from this patch uh, come suddenly. Uh, dozens of small spines which hit you straight uh, yeah pretty much um uh, straight straight in the chest in you know, kind of height finding whatever holes in your armor they can and um things like that and uh, they will do i mean this isn't gonna do much they uh, this they will do two damage these spines um they're kind of like lots of little um needles or something uh, could you also make a save against paralyzation oh Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, my paralyze is thirteen. What is your save versus paralyzation? Thirteen. Mm. So I think uh, I got. It. Yeah, you managed to. Yeah, you managed to uh, shoot it um, off. We'll also have another spray again against the kank. I guess it's pulling the cart. We're under attack. Formation Delta. Left. What's a KC? <laughs> yeah. What's a what's a Kank AC? This is also from the patch. What's a Kank AC? I guess um, May my or Sadira should know. Uh, look, look, where is the stat block of a Kank? The I Kank cannot. stat block is... <laughs> is, is is it in the campaign setting or it is, is it? Yeah. It's in the rule book, I think. It's, it's in the Wanderers Wanderers Journal, I think. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, Wanderers Journal. Uh... That's the the bit at the back of the the. The, the the dark sun book. All oh, right, okay. My monsters of Athos. Is that is that your cat bothering you again, Andrew? Uh, uh, AC5. He may have knocked the camera off. <laughs> uh, AC is five. Block. Yes, the camera has gone. <laughs> AC is five, so seventeen will hit it. Um, and could you make a? Uh, so I'm just trying to do something else. Uh, could you make a save versus paralyzation for the kank? Uh, what's its hit dice? Two. As well, that's the other question that matters for the. Uh, so it'll count as a second level fighter for that. So also it'll be whatever. Uh, I guess Which it'll be a kank 13 is hit as well this? or something. Second. Uh, my, my, uh, your uh, your kank, the kank that is pulling. Okay. How, how many hit points do our kank have? Uh, well, it has two hit dice, so probably, I don't know. Uh... 2d8 is that? You're going to need to, yeah, uh, so you need to, ge you need like to generate it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, is... yeah, you need to roll. Ro roll your Kank's hit dice. That is a 17. So, yeah, it passes the paralyzation. Do you want to gen do you roll 2d8 uh, uh, to work out what your Kank's hit points are, Tom, whilst we're here? Alfie, st the stop. Ooh, yeah, we've got you back, Andrew. Three, as long as you roll well. Oh, okay, good. It's working now. Three and a four. So seven hit points. Oh, should I roll mine as well, sorry? Yeah, record that. It's, what was it? Yes, 2d6? Uh, so, two, two, uh, two d8. Eight. Hit dice are always d8s by default for monsters. Okay. So, yeah, there is. So yeah, um, you, you're being fired at from the scrub. Um, we're an initiative, so we should declare take, actions. Oh. Uh, four damage the kank took. Okay. Uh, the kank. Yeah. Ouchies. Four damage out of what? Oh, I... Out of uh, seven. <laughs> seven. Your kank didn't take any damage. Yeah. Your kank I, didn't take any damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just trying to work out how uh, Death's door our ride is. Uh, yeah. yeah, so my my kank is down at three HP. <laughs> Poor kank yeah. is. Pretty bad. Pretty pretty close. 
Yeah. Okay, and it's daytime. Isn't okay, it? so it's daytime. Right. So that's. Yep. As you're heading towards Fit Fort Cicera, uh, yeah. What are your actions then? Like I say, there are spines flying out of the uh, um, the scrub to your right, down off the road. Can we see what is attacking? What do you do? Mm. Uh, well, you can spend time uh, trying to look. Mine's easy. I've got to pull you out don't, my... You don't immediately <clears throat> see. I've got to pull out my uh, spear and shield, so I will drop whatever harness I was holding, spear shield out, and then mm -hmm. just stand, try and stand between the kank mm -hmm. and wherever the attack came from. Sadira yeah. is going to... Um... Yeah, so the spear is... Yeah. Um, Sidira is going to unhook the kank from the wagon and mount it and ride away from the bush. Um, yep, so you're kind of going northish, basically, yeah. I guess we'd say. Yeah. I, that'll probably take a couple of rounds to both unharness and get away, but that's fine. Um, Gadea. Uh, I'm checking one of my psionics. Uh, one of my psionic options. Uh... Okay. Uh, Maeve, yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'll, I'll use... Uh, yeah, I'll use this. I'll, I'll use Combat Mind, which will give us a, 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 a minus one to initiative. Uh, if it succeeds. Mm -hmm. uh, am I going to okay. do something stupid by like riding down the bushes? <laughs> <laughs> not like I have a ranged weapon, so... It's also not like I have any armor or a shield. Uh... <laughs> Valis! Um, is it so? Is it is, how far away? Faris, what are you going to do, Faris? How far away are we from where the spines are kind of coming out, roughly? Is it right on us or? Um, your uh, the beginning of the patch is probably about 30 away. The patch itself is uh, probably like a couple of hundred square feet, just you know, as in it's just a, a, an area. Um, in a slightly lower lying area, like the look closer to wherever the water table is, there's it's just a tiny bit more moist in the midst of these largely sandy wastes. Just a bit of scrub. Um, I'll pull out one of the um, the thrown weapons, and I would attack with mm -hmm. that. That's uh, not let's do that. Looking at at any particular target. Uh, just the the. The nearest one. Well, it, you haven't seen what's fired. You, you can see at the moment. You can see um, very small bushes and some cactus. Hmm. Uh, I will go for the the very small bushes. But... <laughs> see if I can find something in there. Try and trim. Yeah, my you're eye just on. kind of almost preemptively. Yeah, yeah. Pre are you are you are firing a chachka then? Almost like preemptively, just trying to scare whatever it is out. I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it makes sense. What, I'm just looking for what the speed of a chachka is. Yeah, speed of a chachka. Chachka is in two. I believe. Okay, we're attacking. I'm going to ride full canter at the bushes in that case. <laughs> and if I come across something and can be I... daggered, I'll dagger. Dagger two, that's fine. Uh, okay, that was Beej's encounter. So, Tom, do you want to roll initiative for your side? D10. Yes, sir. <laughs> Back to dice cam. Back, switch to dice cam, exactly. Jeez. Hey. <laughs> Activate dice cam, brought to you by Doritos. <laughs> to one. No. One. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is one. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really hard to see. Yeah. Like, so you beat my six by quite a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, you you get a one. You have a five initiative um, advantage on whatever is ambushing you, which is going to mean so. Sidira, um, I guess, is enhancing the kank. Gidea, do you want to roll your combat mind, Gidea? Yeah. That is. I just. Stiv is donning shield, which is a full round. In that will finish on the six, though. So you'll have a shield up. Four. So that needs a twelve. Uh, yeah, that's a success. Yeah, because it needs a twelve. Yeah. Below. Uh, so yeah, that'll just give us plus 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 one to initiative for future rounds. Uh, given that's only a yeah. psionic, can I also like so see if have, I can? Which means you have one lower. Can I also see, like, look, try and look mm. for who is attacking us? Uh, yes. Do you want to make a wisdom check? I guess. Yeah. I can probably do that quite well. Uh, wisdom. Unless you have a better NWP. I'll allow both in this case, just because I see it's, it's a reflexive thing. You're kind of just looking out to spot yeah. people. Uh, I don't think I've got anything better. Um, unless Infravision helps here. Uh, but I imagine it's daytime and whatever's... I don't think it would make a difference, would it? Uh, no. <laughs> that's a, that's a two. There's so much quite heat. a good roll. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's quite good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you uh, see... You're, you're fairly sure that a couple of the cactuses are moving. It's a, it's the cactuses. Two of the larger the cactuses. <laughs> They're not in the bushes, they are the bushes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a fly <beast-like> cactus. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Maeve and Varys, it's you. You're yeah. both on two. I guess Varys is going first because Varys doesn't have to uh, move to do this. So, yeah. yeah, Varys is going on initiative three, technically. So, hearing that it's the cactuses, um, he takes the chat, uh, aims at low, and throws it at. You're going to adjust last minute, yeah? Yep, yeah, at the very last second, just to aim for the cactus. Uh, two. <laughs> no. Crikey, no. that's that's not gonna that's not gonna it's, that's not gonna hit. Sorry, is it? No. Uh, throw it into the, the ground at your feet. Side, actually, no. On the plus side, with it being a two, because it missed, it actually spins up in the air and comes back to us. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do, does it do that on a nat one or? No, no. Um, it basically if it if the tracker misses a creature, it returns to your hand. Oh, okay. That's handy. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't return if it's stuck in someone's rib cage. Yeah. I guess that's a yeah. plus. <sighs> no, but then it's killing them, so Yeah. So that's a plus. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say I've just I yeah, I think the Chachka is actually I what I've got there's this table is completely wrong in terms of it's how it's notated, but it's speed is four. It doesn't matter, we'll do that anyway. But uh yes, I don't think it's got a rate of fire. I think you can only fire one per turn. Yes. Um so that's fine. It comes back into your hand. Yes. Okay, Mive, you're you're riding in. Are you going to try to stab a moving cactus that <laughs> Gadea is pointing towards? I guess I'm going to stab a cactus. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Welcome to Dark Sun. Uh, nine, which is probably not good. My faco is twenty, so that means uh, I know how this what's... works. Something about eleven. That means you hit armor class 11, which automatically misses necessarily yeah. because there's no such thing as armor class 11. Yeah, you you stab and you just ride past it with the kank, this this slowly moving uh, cactus. Um, okay. The, uh, uh, these two cactus look right. You can see that uh, there is, in, so, in one set of the folds of these cactuses' sides, where you'd expect there just to be flesh, there is in fact some sort of orifice uh, as uh, they turn to look at you, they were on a six. Um, everyone else is that. Yeah, everyone else has acted there. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, I guess one will attack. I think they've got one attack. Have they? Um, it's it's yeah. three goblins in uh, the cactus suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, one of them will hit a. Um, uh, AC8, Maeve. Maeve. Uh, you're riding, though, so I don't know if... Uh, I guess your kank is better than AC8, isn't it? 
It's AC7, we said. Or AC, yeah, AC7. Okay. Something like that. And if I'm riding it, targets the kank, does so, it? So... That's good to know. Uh, I guess, technically, it could, technically it could um, attack you. Uh, it, one to two kank, three to, uh, one to three kank, four mave. I need to yep, stop. Four mave. What's things. your AC mave? I'm imagining not great if I'm just wearing my cool <laughs> gloves. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to probably hit. Yep. What's your... It depends if you've got really good dex, man. I do Two don't. damage, and could you make a save versus paralyzation? Uh, well, the two damage is fine. Um, save versus paralyzation, that's a 10. I forget what that means, but I roll a d20 and assume that someone knows. Mm -hmm. Is it roll under? It's roll over, isn't it? It is roll I... over. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I guess I just sort of face plant off the kank onto the ground. <laughs> Well, I guess you're probably you're probably stirruped and stuff, so you probably just like slump on the couch, don't you? Oh, okay, that's a plus, I guess. Uh, I am struck, by the way, that uh, um, yeah, Varys and Gadara, Remember that you're at minus one to rolls as well, aren't you? It's so. ev ev everyone. Everyone ends up at minus one. Oh the... yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, minus one to far rolls. So, yeah, sorry. Have you knackered? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. To your because no, yeah, you're, you're knackered. knackered yeah, yeah, you've got strained magical uh... fatigue. Yeah. Um, something terrible. Uh, what's... Um, yes, uh, you are paralysed um, at the moment. Uh, you can't move. You can feel this thing in you, this needle in you. Um, that's kind of you actually see this needle that it stabs you with. It kind of seems to move one of its cactus, you know, like the cactus limbs, the branches, and stabs you with one. And then the uh, it it then actually uh, seems to come off onto a string. It moves away, and like a fiber comes out from its arm or whatever this thing is. Um, kind of, which means you're still connected. You know, like a taser. <laughs> okay. And the other one uh, will uh, fire a ray of missiles at Stiv again. 16, so I hit AC1. Uh, yeah. Ow. Could you make a save versus paralyzation, Stiv? Uh, yeah. Here's hoping. Oh no, I've missed it by one. Oh no. It is at a plus two, so um, you will pass. It's okay. a plus two save. Oh, okay. So you take damage though. Again, some hit you, and you feel like slowed. You feel slowed by these these missiles, but you kind of just shake off the the, the experience, and um, yeah, just about kind of stagger back to I guess just a half step toward the cat the wagon. You catch the wagon, and then uh, turn back to face. Second round actions. Uh, at this point, how many does it look like there are moving around? Is there just one? You can see two. Okay, so you there's two, see two. two moving cacti. I don't know if it's... Well, I guess if we hadn't unharnessed the cart, it might have just been worth trying to leave, but... Right right now, we, I think we're probably better off just killing them. No, it's too late. I'm going to run forward, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to do a flying uh, Achilles Brad Pitt spear jab at the, uh, at the one who's attached to Maeve right now. Um, if I'm paralysed, does that mean I'm not able to tell the kank to stop going forward? Does it just sort of keep going? Um, yes. Uh, to a degree, it might, it, 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 you, won't be, uh, you won't be jarring it on, to be fair, so that might help. Yep. Until the All tether right. like, catches you and pulls you off backwards. <laughs> is is your cat called Alfie? Can we name your cat? Uh, your... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alfie the Kank. So if you and if you name the Kank after your cat, if it dies, you'll feel vengeance against your cat for knocking your webcam. Fine, you can see the audience. So Steve is <laughs> charge, and it, he's using a spear. What speed is a spear, Steve? Oh. Uh, spear is uh, six. This will be, um, you'll get two attacks if you're specialised in Spear. Oh, you get even more benefits. Isn't it? As in if you're, you're two, a fighter two, special. 
It's not is off it round. It's the I'm um, special, um, specialized in spears round. and bows. It's three of them. Oh, is it, is it just even on odd rounds rather yeah, it's than three of every them. other? I thought it was every other round. That you well, had. that's the way to calculate it, because otherwise, yeah, uh, yeah, every other round. Because uh, otherwise, what happens, like, yeah, um, essentially, they get their benefit every even round, is the way to think about it. Gidea, right. what's your take? Uh, you get a bonus as well for specialization, plus two? Plus, plus one to hit and plus yes. two to damage. Uh, I am <laughs> probably This half gonna... giant is, a, like, plus ten damage with a spear. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me check my... Let me check pretty, the specialization. Pretty notes, ridiculous. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, shoot shoot one of them with a, a longbow, she arrow. I don't. Does she arrow change the speed? I don't think yep. it does. Uh, I'll check what the speed is on that. No, it's, it's the same. What speed is it? Is it seven or something? I feel like. I'm checking it now. Uh, the composite longbow. Okay. Speed um, six. Oh, is that short bow seven? You're right. You're yeah. Right. Okay. And is that Roth 3? Or Roth uh, 2? Roth 2, I think, isn't it? Uh, Sheaf Arrow 2 1, yep. Yep. Uh, Sidira, what's your action? You, uh, I guess you're riding the Kank away, aren't you? Yeah, I'm riding the Kank out of range of these guys. Um, am I able to do yep. that and My... also at the same time throw an oil flask at them? Mm. Um... Uh, you can try, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, ha yeah. As long as long as I can d do both actions in the same turn is what I was getting at. Uh, you well, you can move and you can do a thing. If you are you proficient at riding? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, actually, no, maybe not. Uh, yeah, second, no. let me check. Uh, Mive is paralyzed. Yeah, I'm uh, proficient Varys. at riding though. I have animal <laughs> handling. It's not the same as riding. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> No. Uh, Varus will take his uh, Githka and move towards one of the, uh, the the nearest cactus and make mm. his attacks. Is it mm -hmm. that with with this being my weapon speciality, the two attacks is that what Alex has said earlier, where it was like a minus two and then a minus four. You you can't up. specialize in a weapon if you're if you're a a multi-class fighter. Multi -class. I, I, don't, I don't think... So, yeah, I think... you're just attacking once. You can... I and it's I'm not an off-hand sure. attack, so it's a pole arm, so you're using both arm. You're using both hands to swing it, so you get one attack. Um, but, yeah. Oh, okay. I just... Uh, uh, I, I think... Because I, I, I did read with this... see if there's what, any... You can't actually mm -hmm. attack yeah, with both hands. Yeah, the gift has, like, a mm. double-sided one or something, so it's like... Yeah. Bit, you can take sort of... Darth Maul at things. Mm. That's all I was uh, thinking. They like, people have been trained. Uh, let's check uh, the table of weapons for you. I can't find it on my Because uh, it doesn't oh, say much in the dark, so. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say that in the core book it might be in the fried green book no, it's it's that it's that you can uh, you can make it you can make a special attack called a piercing attack uh which is a cool shot so it makes you less likely to hit but is more open um likely to get through and damage armor and stuff and skin all oh, right um, okay. i don't know what i've read that it yeah, was yeah. that's probably fourth edition or yeah. 3.5 could hack something like that yeah possibly I, I, I found some 3.5 yeah. hacks like well i say hacks you know like conversions uh, i should kind of oh sorry uh chachka this is uh varis chachka yeah. oh no you're a non-queen you only throw one per round if you're a queen you'll be throwing chachka at two per round oh. but you're not so yes oh. you'll be attacking with the githka that's fine yeah. um You've never quite mastered. You've never become quite as good as they are, have you? That's it. Probably oh. a point of resentment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, Sidira, you won't be able to also throw as well as ride the kank to safety. If okay. you want to kind of like just try to shoot the kank and throw, you can. No, I'm getting out of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Farewell. So long. Okay. Um, Mive. Andrew, do you want to roll initiative? I may as well do something. Uh, five. Five. 
I was going to say, it's your turn, so, you know, your, your cank rolls five initiative. That's actually four, um, yeah. because uh, of the bonus. And you won't take a penalty due to the fatigue, because it's a group roll, so it's fine. I roll a six, so you have a two advantage. Um, in which case, uh, the, f <laughs> the cat, the cat, they're attacking on a nine, because it's a natural attack. Uh, so, um, I think they're going to go first, aren't they? Because um, the next quickest is the Sidira moves. Stiff. Yeah. Uh, Varus is on nine. Yeah, yeah. Sidira moves. Oh no, that's speed nine. Sorry, sorry, I'm completely wrong. Um, that's the speed. Yeah. Okay, so I guess one will the, the other will try to uh, stop your kank as well. Could your kank make this is uh, Mive's kank? Could it? Could your kank please make a save versus paralyzation? He can't, uh, he can't stop rolling high. Yes, I... Did we find their stat... 20! Nice. <laughs> it's probably I don't know what their stat block is, yeah, but that the, probably The kank is, is fine. It's, it's, it's in the... Do you want to roll, uh, roll a two... Joe, One just journal. Do you want to roll a 2d10 morale check to see how... how What it does, as well? This is uh, my foundry. Do you want to roll a... That would be eight. an eight. Oh. It's actually uh, reasonably happy by Kank standards. It's morale, a Kank's morale is 14. The Kank is going to attack. Um, do you want to roll the Kank's attack? I can. Uh... It takes four damage. Okay, four damage. Uh, it misses. It's it seven well damage. Up. Yeah. Okay. Four it, yeah, damage. It, it misses. So the other one great. will attempt to again take down Stiv. It fires another spray of arrows. It hits AC6, Stiv. Nope. Bounces off my arm. You have more. your shield up. Uh, whilst you're leaping through the air, Brad Pitt's job, which I should say is terrifying. This is a 12 foot tall creature weighing, what, 500 pounds or 600 pounds or something? Uh, <laughs> Let's see what I wrote down. Flying my... through the air. Uh, no, I weigh 1,550 uh, pounds. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. <laughs> um, okay, it's hole. next going to be Stiv. Stiv, you have an attack at six. All right, I get a plus four. As bonus you land this. on this thing. No, <laughs> no. Wow, that's devastating. <laughs> Opening attack of the campaign. What is your well disappointment? <laughs> yes, yeah, St Stiv lands next to it. The ground shakes. It staggers backward, and Stiv just like jabs the air above it. He doesn't realise how tall it is. It's only like six and a half, seven foot tall. So he's stabbing at like a nine foot height. <laughs> um, the other one that's in get, yeah. Okay, so next is going to be uh, Gudea. Are you going to fire at the one that Stiff has just engaged or the one that is paralysing Mive? Or what are you firing at? Uh, the the one the one on Mive, I think. Um, my, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Right, I'm at minus one. Yep. Go for uh, it. Probably pronounced it differently every time I've said it. Right, I'm just going to go with my Ev because that. that me Ev. There's Steve Meave. and Meve. Me. <laughs> I just mashed the keyboard with my hand. <laughs> mashed the keyboard with your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, what was I? Uh, so, yeah. effective factor at 19. Uh, roll the mm. 20. Uh, it hits AC9. I don't think that hits. Nope. Uh, oh well. It doesn't hit. It, I mean, they're, they're not incredibly tough as far as you can see, but yeah. No. It bounces off a spine, like a protective spine. Yeah. Okay, Varys. Which one are you attacking? Uh, the attacking one. The one that's currently got Mive on, I think. Or are you going yes. for uh, you know Stiv, the one. one that's attacking uh, Stiv? Uh, uh, the one that's attacking Mive. Yep. Remember, you are, uh, roll your d20. Yep. So let me have a... So that's... Oof. Uh. Oh, this is... This is this that is, is a miss. It is. I always thought we'd have a TPK first session. First, not even first, se first session, just first encounter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that is... Okay, we're now... We're now... Stiv, your turn again. 
That is one thing, Gadea and Varys, it hasn't really mattered because, I well, it could have mattered for Gadea. Gadea would have hit AC8, so you never know. <sighs> but yeah, Varys and Stiv just missed. AC7? Stiv, uh, AC7 hits. Yes. Get him, Stiv. Okay. So let me look at this. So uh, I still get a plus one. To Stiv, what, what do you say as you stab it? What's Stiv's catchphrase? <clears throat> Uh oh boy. That's it now. Oh boy, and that oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Alright. That was just minding my own. Varys, you look over to see uh Yeah, you look over to see Stiv. Whatever the roll here is gonna be a horrendous amount of damage, like absolute impairs. <laughs> 14 damage. Wow. Uh, yeah. It, just the, the spear goes in and there's like, there's like, it's weird. There's water gushing everywhere, but there's like this weird high pitched keening coming from the cactus thing, uh, which if it had blood, you would assume was bloodied at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> bloodied? But there's, but there's um, no actual Gidea. blood. Sorry. Like... Sorry. It's, it's still alive. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's still alive. Oh. How? Oh boy, this is a well third level, I guess. Yeah. Oh boy. Listen. Uh, so, oh boy. Yeah, Somebody I'll, else needs to. Welcome hit. to Dark Sun. I'll, I'll I'll shoot again, same target. Oh my goodness. Uh, that that doesn't hit at all. That's like AC eleven. <laughs> Could I hit AC eleven? Yeah. AC AC ten. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yep. No. That. Yeah. That misses. Um. <laughs> third round of initiative. Can we conquer how bad you guys are at stuff? This round, or is this the round it begins to go permanently downhill? What are all you people even good at? Claire, actions. Am I still paralyzed? <laughs> yeah. Stiff has, like, got this thing on the end of the spear, like, shaking it around like a dog chewing, like, killing something. And the rest of you are just randomly gesturing, <laughs> hoping for the best. I mean, I am Apart from running Mark, away. Doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Gadea, what's your action? I'm going to shoot again. I'll shoot, shoot at the injured one this time. Might as well focus fire. Now we're in my Yeah, Stiv, your action. Same thing. Stab. Uh, which is, is going to be spear 612. You don't have to charge anymore. Sidira, you are on the other side of the game now. What are you doing? Uh, I am going to halt my uh, mm -hmm. kank and use my sling. Uh, to try and hit the one yep, that's down. that's fine. I'll allow you... Uh, if you do an animal handling check when we get there, but I won't give you a penalty as long as you succeed at that, okay. um, basically. Because you're, you're not moving, you're just going like, hey boy, uh, yeah. Mive. Is still paralyzed? Oh yes, your kank. Your kank is attacking on a three. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the sling speed, by the way? Um, yeah, I'll find out. Six. And Varys, are you going to try to hit with one of your... You've seen this guy turn up with like these amazing crystal weapons and he has hit nothing with it. Are you going to try yeah. to hit with the Githka again? Yeah, I'm going to have to try and hit with <laughs> again. Yeah, you've got to regain your dignity here by, by actually yeah. doing some damage. Um, okay, I think that is it's Phil's initiative roll. Okay, so what a roll for that, sorry. The D D10. D10. Yeah, in roll low. So, yeah, D10. I roll five. Beat my five. Why is that not? Oh. Six. That is minus one because of combat minds. That is five. You're both on five. Uh, which okay. is, as in, that helps. Alex's combat power. By the way, uh, does Gadea have to uh, s uh, sustain that power by spending PSPs? Yeah, yeah. have been. Yeah. It's, it's not very okay. many, so given I'm not uh, doing anything. So, plans. going at the same time, the Kank and both of these Cacti are going at the same time. So you can roll the, you can roll the, uh, the Cacti, Andrew. Not the Kank, okay. roll the um, Kank. Kank, I'm assuming. The one that's attacking the Kank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I rolled a 19. Oh, that's good. Um, uh, you hit it. It's going to hit uh, AC6, which 
I'll check the kank. I'll just remind oh. myself of that whilst we're here. I fear that might hit it. Kank is AC5. Oh, it doesn't hit it. No, AC5. Yeah, it's it's a, it's got tough chitin. It's a giant. It's like a giant ant termite thing. I'm used uh, to Yeah, so roll the. Yeah, uh, which are like AC8, aren't they? Yeah. Welcome to Dark Sun. Uh, the damage from a kank is one d6. Okay. Don't kank also have like poison or something, or is that just the the, the like soldier kank? Two. Oh, is that? That's probably just a soldier. Yeah, I don't think the normal yeah. kanks do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can... It feels like the uh, special attacks. A... Yes, only a soldier is a gets that. No, yeah, you ride worker kanks basically usually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The other one, I guess, we'll try to see. It's going to try to do to Stiv what Stiv has done to it, and like get a needle in, in Stiv. Close combat. Oh, natural one. It's yeah. It's gonna stumble around and and jar. Do you want to roll a um, a D four damage against it? Um, just as it thrashes around on the spear. That's you, Brian. Roll another D four damage. Yeah. Great. Seventeen. Okay. I just keep pushing Next the spear in. Next is Sidir. Yeah. So Stiv, you attack again. It manages to get itself off the spear, but there's like more gush of, like this spray of sweet smelling aloe vera. You feel really refreshed. I and Sidira, you're you're th you're uh, slinging as well. Do you want me to do an uh, animal check? Yeah, you hit. Um, uh, sorry, yes, that... do an animal handling check. Sorry. So, um, I... Yeah, animal handling check for you. That will... That was 17 for the animal handling, so I guess that's... Uh, that's Is that 60, 16 damage, did you just say? Uh, yeah. oh, no. My bone spear did not break. Did you say a 16 damage. Right. Yeah, 16 <laughs> damage. I didn't roll one, so... No. My bone spear's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just stab through into the or orifice. You drive down into the orifice and just, like... Stab and stab and stab and and the aloe vera smells sweet aloe vera kind of spreads around the area as this thing whatever it is collapses to the ground. That's what I do best, Owen. <laughs> um, <laughs> kill, kill and Tom, what was your D twenty? Sorry, I got a seventeen for the animal handling check, uh, which I think is a success. Uh, is that a pass fail? I, uh, I guess it would be a pass like it's animal, An handling. animal handling is wisdom minus one so what's your wisdom uh my wisdom is 18. so 18 minus one anything lower than a 17. yes you just, you just passed you yeah, calm yeah. the kank and then fire your sling I, all right no, yeah 20. i guess you fire it at the other one yeah i guess you fire it the other one it is a 10. dice cam sponsored yeah, by budweiser dice cam, yeah. <laughs> dice cam. Uh, that's gonna miss yeah just if what that's the, you if you two can work out problem. copyright strikes from fake product <laughs> placement, that wasn't real product placement. Yeah. <laughs> is it still uh, alive after my sixteen I, damage? I, th I think your one is dead. It is definitely I... not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then I, ha I have a catchphrase. Um, I kill it. I say, "Welcome to Dark Sun." <laughs> 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 now that is trademarked. <laughs> Uh, Gudea, it's, um, yep. it's your attack, Gudea. Yep. Uh, effective back 19. Uh, AC4. I think that's a hit. You got it. That hits. And uh, then Varus, do you want to roll as well? Yeah. Oh, well. D D6. Versus two, small two, two damage. Brilliant. Fourteen. What's your th What's your normal thaco, Varus? Uh, normal thaco is nineteen. Um, obviously, I'm at a minus one for that. But so the... effective thaco twenty. But with the um, plus one of the attack for being a specialised, that cancels out the the minus because basically minus one plus. Well, one. I was going to say, you're, remember, you're not specialised because multi-class fighters don't get that. But so that's AC six. You so it's just minus one. You do hit it. You hit. 
Yeah. Try to actually do some damage compared to the pathetic attempt so far. Especially um, by Gadea, loser. I assume this is a small creature, so that is too deep. Small, medium. It's small. It's a medium creature. It's the same height as you guys, yeah. It's it's, it's not large, it seems. Technically, I say you guys. Stiv is yeah. large. Yeah. Yeah. Five okay, you have bloodied that one. You have bloody. You have bloodied that one. Okay, uh, Gadea, you've got one attack left. That's on nine damage, by the way. And then it's on to another round. Oh, right, yep, me again, yep. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yep. <laughs> I hit, uh, I did two damage. Okay. And then I rolled a two. Why? Um, next round, uh, Claire actions, I guess. This remaining one is, uh, yeah, looking round at you. Kind of, it's, it, you, well, looking. It's yeah. Orifice, it seems to look up towards Mive. Uh, Gidea Longbow? Yeah, with my last two sheaves, I heard. Yeah, uh, remember, to, it, we'll check off with uh, ammo locks. Has it been shooting spines at a specific person? It's been trying to stab... My, this one's been trying to stab the kank just up is to it, now. Is it possible, is there room for me to interpose, like, just stand between them? So that if it wants to attack anyone, it'll be me. Yes, th th that is actually a thing you can do, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I don't know if that's a whole action, but I just want to basically like, move myself so that I'm the most threatening and like mm -hmm. in the way, and then just stab at it if I can. Mm -hmm. Good. Protect the kank with your life. Um, yeah, you can just feel my uh, approval somehow. I will protect um, this caravan with my combat. life, I guess. Uh, special damage uh, defenses, page 100. I feel like there is a thing about this. I um, just sort of put my armored loincloth in the way so that okay. I can't get to anyone else. Uh, yeah, I, I'll say you lose one attack for that because you're on your favorite round, so I'll allow you to attack once. Okay. Um, and I will just see what it thinks it's going to do. Um, I'll make that initiative 12. Sidira? Uh, I'm just going to use my sling again. And I'll assume the Kank is attacking. And Varys? Um, I'm going to... Uh... You're engaged at the moment, Paris. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pull on my... What I'd like to do is pull up the two Chaska, because I think I've made a bit of an error when it comes yeah. to the carrot thing. So I'm going to pull my two Chaska, because as part of being a Slayer, I can... A, a Slayer can attack... Ah, a Thry Queen Hunter. Thry yes. Hunter. Uh, a Slayer can attack with two weapons without penalty to his uh, attack rolls, although other restrictions apply. So, mm. since I made a mistake earlier, I'm going to yes. put this girl away, pull out the two Chaska, yeah. and I'm going to take my two attacks mm -hmm. on the one yeah. nearest to us. And is that that's attacking with two weapons. That means they both attack at, at yeah. the, their normal initiative, which is four. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty efficient. Yeah. <laughs> so, Varys, having proven that he can hit things with the Githka, just drops the Githka. Look, probably looks smug and uh, <laughs> draws the Chathka yeah. uh, to uh, yeah, do, do whatever he's doing next. Okay, Alex, it's your initiative. Yep. At minus the... one, obviously. I beat my eight. Yeah, oh, wow. Uh, he did. Crikey. Beat my, beat that's an advantage my... of six. Yeah. This thing is probably in trouble. Um, Kank first. Kank attacks first. Yeah, that's, that's Kank, Varys, go before it. Seven. Sidira matches. Nope. I guess Steve's just Varys like attack, the way. Varys attacks twice. Yep. So, the so roll 2d20 punch. basically, Phil. Yeah. Um, no, Stiv is on. running over. Chonk, 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 chonk. Like, where the rest of you are like dodging these tiny thorn bushes, I imagine Stiv is just stamping on them. Uh, so that's going to be <laughs> AC 13 and AC 4. The AC4 hits, so you hit with one Chathka. That's great, and that deals 1d6 plus 2, 
which is not Ooh, quite nice. Uh, five points of damage with mm -hmm. one of them. That's going to be five. It had five damage, five points left. Excellent. Oh, how how do you kill it? What do you do with the Chathka? With the Chathka, um, I just kind of spin round and I want to effectively cleave it in two, just kind of dragging the Chathka through its um, yeah. cactus body and just... Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Phew. Your hands feel moisturised. <laughs> Aloe vera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is... Yeah, there are, are no more cactus, fellas. A Aloe veras? Um... <laughs> yeah. The guarlings? Uh, yeah, you... Uh... Yeah, my um, problem. Yeah, um, you take one damage for the needle to be removed, uh, my. But after the needle, she actually comes to you fairly quickly. Yeah, I'm happy to take that damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. Stupid cactus. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a brighter note, the cactus. There's a lot of very good big anti cactus victory here. <laughs> Yeah, hey, they attacked the kank us. passed its morale check and then actually did damage. It only hit it; it hit like once, but it did do damage. Yeah, it contributed more than I did. Um, <laughs> I mean, Var Varys did take that thing apart. To be fair, Varys did ten damage um, in that one. So basically, stiff and your your two, and it's not surprising your two fighters piled on damage, and everyone else <laughs> kind of screamed and didn't do very much. Um, yeah, do you want to roll for ammo retention? <laughs> Are you doing anything else while you're here? What's the roll for ammo retention? Uh, it's D2, coin flip. Uh, one you keep, two you lose for each that you used. Um, did anyone take any significant damage? Other than me? Okay, so I get it back. Me? Good. No, I think it was just you. Uh, and uh, Sidira's kank. I, yeah. took, okay. I took six damage, but that's not significant for me. Yeah. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, about to I mean, scratch. Yeah. It, Mive's like, oh. Sure. I mean, I know a little first aid, but yeah. if you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> did I just drop, or did someone else just no, drop? No. Uh, I think someone else can still hear you. We lost okay, good. Uh, Alex. I'm just traumatized from, all, from last time. <laughs> Every two seconds. Yeah. Yep. But I found out why that was. My computer's wireless card has died, which is why I'm in here on a laptop instead. Uh, Behind the scenes. Mive, uh, were you doing any first aid or anything else? Uh, yeah, I think I should probably see to the kank. So that's... 1d8 of first aid. What did we get? Don't worry about it. Six. Nice. What okay. happens? The kank's back happens. Is Mive just literally going past? A hand on the kank or something. Yep, just put my hand on the kank and just sort of looking at <laughs> it, just sort of muttering to ourselves, yeah. and it seems to be doing a lot better. Yeah, great, good work. Yeah, so there's black energy um, like around the hand, but the it seems to be drawing away from the kank, like yeah, as the wounds oh. heal. Hmm. Alfie, stop uh, helping! <laughs> stop talking to your kank like that. That's so harsh. Well, he's talking to my kank, actually. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, realised it annoys me now. <laughs> are you doing this at the, sit at the scene of battle? I figured I may as well heal them as soon as possible. Yep. Uh, yep, yeah, you can do anything else you need to. Uh, okay, by Steve. Um, yeah, uh, any other spell cast? Anything you want to do around the corpses, or do you want to get travelling again? Varus would definitely like to kind of get back on the, the road that this battle's kind of yeah. brought him back out of himself. And he's now kind of like, right, we need to 
got to move on. Yeah. Yeah. We're so close. So close. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. In that case, uh, who rolled that random encounter? Was it Tom? Me. I did. Or was it? Who? Yeah, it was, was you. Okay, was. Tom. Your another random encounter check. Dice, Dice count sponsored by Budweiser. <laughs> Five. Five. Yes. So the remainder of the journey, it's only a few miles of this, but like it's like another three or four miles. You know, you're not actually traveling that fast, so that is still half a day or something. But you you make it and you come you crest a rise and you see um a uh, a rather small battered adobe uh, fort down um not far from the silt sea you know uh, uh, it's uh, it's up on a hill above it you're you're, you're kind of cresting a high rise it's on a on a hill above the silt sea um uh, where this road runs and uh, you uh, can see a uh, yeah you, you see that you see the symbol and this would be uh, alas we uh, has gone very quiet as you come back to a place that uh, she visited before um but uh, you know you, the rest of you probably haven't been here before i guess have you uh, but yeah you see a, a fairly small dusty unimpressive uh, locale and uh, what what do you see around it uh, yeah you can see inside the walls there are there on the walls there are a a few guards and warriors um and inside uh, the wall uh, you can see just uh, one large stable block and a few barracks blocks and uh, an open space is pretty small and unimpressive, especially for the traders who have seen much larger. And I guess for for um, uh, for Varys too, who's obviously has been. Mm -hmm. Here you are. You're at Fort Sisera. Uh, this is the place where dreams come true. I guess that's where we'll pick up next week, isn't it? As you arrive at Fort Sisera. Excellent. Cool. We made it. Just, okay. uh, just about. It was touch yeah. and go for a minute. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it felt like uh, it was, but then, but then you were murdered them, so <laughs> everything was fine. It's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I think. I think it's a, anything like that that where the action economy is one attack, but it's a paralyzing attack. You've got like a really wide swing. Basically. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I think. Better say. So okay. yeah, I think it's just you guys could have just. Oh, I think we've got an Alex back. We do. Yes. Alex, get to back. um to Fort Cicera. You 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 didn't uh, you didn't they didn't run another encounter. You made it to Fort Cicera. Excellent. Uh, I so it's, uh, yeah, this like no dusty fort with only a few facilities inside, but it is nonetheless where your dreams are going to come true. Did I? Um, um... Gadea, I guess, has been there before. Probably. <laughs> probably, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, rolling for recovering arrows. What do I want to roll? Flip coin flip. Um, uh, coin D2s, one keep, two lose. Yeah. Is it? Is Heads it, keep, tail lose. Is it a yeah. difference if they hit or break, or is it all just coin flip? No, no, it's just the same. Just the same. Right. I'm I'll not say, worrying I'll about say, breaking I'll... ammo for that for that purpose. Yeah. Uh, on a one, they break. Yeah. I recover the three arrows, and I'll yeah. recover the broken arrow okay. as well because that's got a metal arrowhead. We've defeated the devil cacti of the high sands. I told you I hated nature. Did we? Was there anything worth looting on them, <laughs> out of interest? Like, was there any like you know dead people in the sands around them? Or... Apparently, um... just some, some aloe to put on your sunburns. Well, that's still useful. That way, you, you don't want your skin peeling. Right? Yeah, so... if you want to. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to scoop out some cactus flesh, I guess you could do that. That'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. I guess why not. Anyone got um, something to put that in? Yeah. Or... <laughs> and we've got a, a, a little clay pot or something. <laughs> Does anyone have any containers for this stuff? Do you have any containers empty of water, Tom? On uh, the cart? Um, not empty. You're ones, not using no. my water skin. I hold out my hand. I'll carry it. Put it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I. I can't carry you, but I can carry it for you. Or whatever, sure. however that saying goes. <laughs> sure, sure. Why not? Here you go. And just kind of slap, slaps a big pile of aloe or cactus juice, cactus paste. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. 
And I close my fist, and then I start <laughs> pulling the card again. And by the time we get there, it's all dried up and gone. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> well, you're supposed to hold it. You probably I tried. Me. I held if it in my hand, it... but... If there's... <laughs> if there's literally any other container, you can have it. If not, you can't. I think that's how it works. <laughs> uh, well, I definitely okay. don't have a um, container, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll say on stream, um, I actually literally apparently don't have the option of uh, ending the stream via YouTube. It's very strange. Oh, and terrifying. okay. I'm in, I'm in total uh, but I'm, control. In a minute, if you end the stream yeah. on OBS. You give me I'll, a count out or something. Yeah. I'll end I'll end the stream. I'll just exit the stream. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 So uh, thanks. Tune in again in two weeks to find out uh, whether <laughs> this is all, uh, this is going to be an amazing adventure through the desert or it's all a scam. Uh, and <laughs> we will leave you in three, two, one.